Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Subby from Code Revolution. So today I'm announcing a new feature for Crawlomatic because it will be able to use also Puppeteer next to PhantomGS. So I'm not sure if you are aware but the plugin is able to use PhantomGS to crawl also JavaScript generated content. And starting from now, because PhantomGS is getting a bit old uh, I added also Puppeteer support so you can install also Puppeteer on your server and the plugin will be able to use it to crawl websites and to import also websites that generate JavaScript uh, content or that require a browser to be accessed and so on. So let me show you how this works. So starting from now the plugin will be able to use Puppeteer if you set here in use Phantom GS Puppeteer to parse JavaScript on pages. Here you will have a drop down instead of a checkbox because here was only a checkbox because only Phantom GS was supported and now you will have a drop down and there will be disabled use Phantom GS or use Puppeteer. So don't forget to install Puppeteer on your server. I will release new videos on this channel showing how to install Puppeteer on your server. And what remains is showing you how this functions. So let us select here Puppeteer. Let me import a post from my blog. For example, this and paste the URL here. Hit save and run importing. So the plugin now will use Puppeteer to get its content. How you will know that the plugin uses Puppeteer is that you can go to activity and logging menu of the plugin and here you will see that Puppeteer command and the full command that was sent to Puppeteer and importing is running. So in this case importing might run a bit longer than usual because the puppeteer execution takes a bit longer but you will see that the post is imported and here it is the post is also added to my website in its full content so this is the original post from my website and the crawlomatic plugin copied it here and used Puppeteer in this action. So the plugin is now using Puppeteer one post created. Okay, so this is all for this update. Don't forget to stay uh, subscribed to this channel to see also uh, how to install Puppeteer because the next days on this uh, channel I will release videos on how to actually install Puppeteer on your server so the uh, Crawlomatic plugin will be able to use it. So yeah, this is all for today. Have a nice day, stay safe, bye bye.